everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today is the very first face viewing video that you guys have ever seen of me on my channel. So, hello, now you have a face to the hands of journaling. <laughs> but today, I thought I would do a fun video for you guys. If you're not part of my Bible journaling groups that I'm a part of on Facebook, I have... <clears throat> Excuse me, shared a picture of my new craft cart, and I will, of course, take a picture of it for the um, video clip that you click on for this video. But today, I just want to share with you guys what is on my cart. It is finally organized to how I want it, so I just want to share with you what's on here. I did get a second one, so that one has arrived and it is built. I just haven't really organized it yet, so I may do a second cart tour once that one's all set. But this is all the supplies that I use for the most part in all my journaling videos. So let's get started. So I'm gonna work my way from the bottom to the top. Um, I'm gonna see if I can push you guys back a little bit. There we go, okay, that's a little better. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the bottom shelf. You can, you guys can see the first shelves, okay. But the bottom shelves, I will show you guys what I have on here. So I have two Happy Planner binder books. The first one is my sticker book. That is the Mambi sticker book from Happy Planner. And I haven't filled it all the way up yet, but it has my faith stickers from the faith sticker book, the mini faith sticker book, as well as the floral memory sticker book and the simply lovely ones, which is in the next section. There we go. So floral memories and simply lovely are in this back section so as you can see I what I did was I used either cardstock or pages that you can purchase from Happy Planner stuck them on with double-sided tape and then they pop right in here so I do have a tutorial on that on my channel so go check that out if you want to see a cool way to put your stickers in next up I did the exact same thing with this book I may change my system around because I do have more stamps but the same as the sticker book, this one holds all my stamps. So I don't think I have a video on this, but I did the same thing. I stuck all my stamps on the little sheets and I stuck them in here. So all the stamps that I have are included in this book. And I did recently buy some more stamps, so they're not all in here. I may add them, but this thing's already getting bulky and opening up. So you may have to find a new system for stamps. Next up, I just have my palette, which I use for either watercolors or acrylic paint. So I do have a bigger palette, which probably will be going in this cart. I just haven't found it yet. Next up is this cute little book, which I haven't used yet, but it, is, it was a gift from one of my Bible journaling groups. It was a wish, list, a wish list swap. Yeah, that's what it's called. But it has my initial K, which I love. It was a surprise gift. And it has a whole bunch of sticky notes in it, which I cannot wait to use because I am a total planner, a total organization person for the most part. Cleaning wise, no organization, yes. <laughs> and then the next thing I have is a bunch of sticky note booklets, which I bought on sale at an antique store. They're brand new, so I was like, no, sorry, these were Hobby Lobby, wrong store. I thought I bought these when we were antique shopping, but no, these were Hobby Lobby, and they were $2.99, but they were like an extra 75% off or something, so I was like, I'm grabbing all you have. Next thing I have, there was an extra sticky note there. Next thing I have is just this fun little bag here. I have paper sticking out of it, but most of this is stuff I've gotten for Happy Mail. I try to keep it all together so I can use for for my happy planner, for my Bible journaling. I try to keep everything that I'm gifted in one spot so I, I know where they came from. So that's just a little baggie. Um, I do have another spot that I keep some, but this is just a little bag on the bottom. So the second shelf I have, I have sticker books, mostly sticker books. Um, I think all my sticker books are on this shelf. There's no extra anywhere in the house. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to remember. I have one small mini book. Um, I'm pretty sure all of these sticker books have been flipped through on my channel. So go check that out at any of my shopping hauls. I'm pretty sure I've shared these with you all. So I have one mini one, which is the Going Places Happy Planner sticker book. Love it. Next up is all of my American Craft sticker books, which I have five of them. I thought I had more than that. Maybe not. Nope, I guess not. I thought I had more than five, but I have five of the American Craft sticker books. I absolutely love them. You guys have probably seen me use at least, at least most of these in my um, planner videos. So I love these. Super awesome. I love them. Next up is a couple of random sticker books, which are, let's see, I have one from Agenda 52. It's got a whole bunch of cute little cactus and pink and mint green. I love pink and mint green together and peaches. So this booklet is one of my favorites. I love it. Got it on sale at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is great for sale items, especially around February. Around like late January to early March, they have great sales for planner items and stickers and stuff. So check that out if you don't mind waiting that long to start your planner. So there's that one. Next up is one book from Carpe Diem. Wrong way. Carpe Diem, which I bought at uh, Tuesday morning when they were going out of business near me. Not all of them are going out of business, but most are. But it's just a cute sticker book. It's got a lot of farmhouse style, which is really cute. I just used this book a couple weeks ago for my channel. Next up is two sticker books from Love Nicole before I see more um, clothes. I have the seasonal book, which I have used a ton of. I use it for all my holiday planner layouts. And it's really cute. Probably at least a third to half of these stickers are already used, but they're really cute, super fun. I love them. Absolutely adorable. I, again, I have flip throughs of all these on my channel, so go check those out. And then the second one I have is Planner Stickers The Basics. That includes just um, daily schedules, little note sticky, stuff like that. So that's, that's what this one is. Just like daily note taking, to-do list, that sort of thing. So that's that one. And the next one I have, which is one of my favorites, I bought this when Michaels had a buy one, get two free on their like craft or paper making. So it is expensive. One item was $20, but you get two free. So it's like seven, almost about $7 a piece. So not bad at all. I did end up getting one sticker book from them and it was the animal one. I actually don't think I did a flip through of this one. because so I think this was before I started my channel or I was just starting and I wasn't sure if you wanted to see shopping hauls. So this one's really cute though. It's got a whole bunch of adorable animals, butterflies, rhinos. They're just, they're super cute. Sloths, I love sloths. My, one of my favorite animals, love them. But yeah, it's just got a whole bunch of really cute animals. I definitely wanted to use this more in my planner and Bible journaling. Definitely. And then next up is all of my Happy Planner stickers, which compared to other people's collections, mine is very small, but that's okay. Because I don't want to be a, using a ton. So these are all my sticker books. I have eight. Eight Happy Planner sticker books. Love them all. This one I'm actually saving. If you saw my testimony, I am saving this for my future career as a travel blogger and YouTube blogger. So that one I am saving for later. I have not used it. I'm going to be saving that for when I start using my other planner. And then I have the quote book, which just has a whole bunch of cute quotes and little boxes to decorate your planner with. This one is the fitness one. I have two fitness ones, which I kind of want a separate planner for fitness because I do have my Bible journaling one. And I could use one for fitness. So I have two fitness ones. And then I have one that just is a sticker book. Um, it's just a whole bunch of colored boxes. Love this one. It's just so pretty, just the fun colors. Next up is Simply Lovely. Again, this is one that was in my sticker book down there. I just haven't finished putting these in. 
And then the last two are the Going Places ones, the mini one and the classic one. Love these two. Favorite one ever besides the Faith ones. Absolutely love them. Next up, totally forgot what was behind here. I have quite a few washi tape books from Happy Planner. Um, haven't even opened some because I bought extra. So I have a couple unopened and a couple new. I'll show you the, the um, opened ones because that way there's no glare. But I bought these at Ollie's. Now they don't normally have these at Ollie's, which I was totally shocked with. I've never seen Happy Planner stuff there ever. So these ones I bought three different kinds. I think this one is the... I know one's girly. Yeah, this is the girly one. And this one is the pastels, really pretty. And this one is the faith one. Bought like three or four of the faith ones. Gave one away, but I absolutely love the faith one. Lots of vibrant, bright colors. And these were only like $1.99 each. And that's ridiculous because they're normally about 20 bucks each. So definitely check out your local Ollie's. Um, I know ours... Uh, near where I live. They still have some, I believe, but I mean, they have the same design, so I haven't bought any extra. Probably should though, because I do use them. Next up, my last Happy Planner thing, I believe, on here, yeah, is my, another thing I'm going to be using for my future career. It is the five sticky rolls, or sticky rolls, sticker rolls of travel stickers, and it includes stuff like just cute little stickers and they have flight um, tracking stickers and packing list stickers so definitely using this. I think this was, um, could be Hobby Lobby, it was on sale for $3.97, I think it was Hobby Lobby. So that's the last one. And then the next one, I'm just going to put my washi stickers away so I don't forget. Alright, then the next thing I have is a little paper pack. I gotta find my other paperback. This isn't the only one I have. I have another one. I don't know where it is now. It's probably still on the table. I just haven't put it away. But I haven't used this one yet. It's super cute. It's just a little mini um, six by eight um, paper pack. I don't know if I share this, but it's really cute. It's got some gold foil sheets in it. I thought I'd use it for um, junk journaling and for my Traveler's notebooks, Bible journaling, I can use this for pretty much anything I want to. So it's just really cute, super fun. And then the next thing I have in my cart is a cute office accessory kit. I think I got this at Target. I hardly ever go there, but I decided to go. It was only $3 instead of, it was 6 so it's half off. But it comes with little pins, it comes with paper clips and also the binder clips, which I do use quite a bit for my junk journaling. So that's in there as well. Last two things on my second shelf is I have two boxes. I got these at, um, found a magnet. <laughs> um, last two things I have, I got these two sandwich boxes from Dollar Tree. Go check out your Dollar Tree. They are snapped, so they won't come apart on you. And both of these have Happy Mail in them. This one has, I believe, yeah, this is all the stuff I've gotten from a junk journaling group, Pen Pals. So all the stuff that's small enough, I put in here to where I can use it for future junk journals. And then this green one is used, again, for all my Happy Mail stuff. Um, I'll just show you a couple, but it's all my Happy Mail stuff. It's got ribbon and washi tape in here, paper clips, and all the fun stuff that you get in the mail, which I love. So that's all in this cute little thing. I may need to go buy another one because this one's getting full already. So that's all that was on my second shelf. I'm just going to put my sticker books away because I have too many sticker books, so just got to organize.
There we go. All right, everything back on the second shelf. All right, last up, top shelf is usually stuff that I use pretty much on a daily basis, um, almost. So first thing I'll grab is my traveler's notebook, which I use at least once a week, if not more. Right now, it's just got my woman's Bible study notes in it, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I've done a re review on this. I made this. It took at least one or two months to make. It was my very first one, and it actually turned out pretty nice. I know my stitching is extremely crooked, but I love it because it means a lot more when I make it. So this is definitely going with me on my future travels and for Bible journaling, etc. So that was on the top shelf. Next up, this is actually a really cool hack, so stay tuned for this. This is technically a crochet hook book. So you put all your crochet hooks. Now I don't have a spot for my crochet hooks because I used it for something else. I used it for, let me just make sure some of my pens don't fall out on me. I used it for highlighters and pens and they fit perfectly in there. So I put all my Bible highlighters in there. They are the Mr. Pen highlighters. I love them so much. And yeah, they fit right in there perfectly. I just moved all my crochet hooks and just use this now. So that was on the top shelf. Next up are my two and only two color box ink palettes. I love them both. I use them quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it's the only ink I've ever used for Bible journaling. Love them both. Color box. Love, love, love them especially when they go on sale or have a coupon. So those two, try to find a spot to put them <laughs> while I look for other things. There we go. Okay. Next up is my new We Are Memory Maker hole punch. It is the two inch, I believe. Yes, two inch. So it's quite big, circular hole punch. I've been wanting one. It was on sale. So I grabbed it when I saw it at Joanne's. So I've only... I have not used this for journaling yet, but it will be in a future video. Possibly, yes, next week. So I'll be using this. Next up is my absolute favorite pencil sharpener. If you use especially Prismacolors, because I know a lot of people, they say, oh, my, my Prismacolors, they tend to break in any pencil sharpeners, even, even the one that comes with Prismacolor. This one, I have not had a pencil break ever since I got this like ever. This is the, it's actually a camera pencil sharpener. I'm a shutter bug, so I wanted it just because it was a camera. And it's from Kickerland, I believe that is, probably German or something, I'm guessing, but I don't know. But it is a crank one, but it's so easy to use, guys, and my pencils have never broken. They've never, like, you know how you crank it and, like, the whole lead comes out? Never. And it comes to such a sharp point that I honestly thought the pencil would break. They don't. So definitely highly recommend this pencil sharpener. Next up is my cute little pencil case. It's my Mickey pencil case. I think I bought this at Savers, but it's got all my fun pens. It's got my favorite pen from the Grand Hotel in there that when I went to go there on my first solo trip, it's got my X-Acto knife. It's got a couple highlighters, which I probably will put in the case one little pair of scissors and just a couple extra pens and a couple of white jelly roll pens. So that's what's in here. We are almost done. Yay. I have a bookmark, which is randomly placed in there, but it's one of those 3D walking. Oh, you can actually see it on camera. But the wild lions, one of my favorite animals that God created. So that's in there. Probably be using that later, actually. One roll of double-sided tape. I'm running low, so I need to buy more of this soon. But one roll of double-sided tape is in here. A cute little notebook that somebody gave me. It says she believes she could, so she did. It's just a cute little blank notebook for notes taking. So that is there as well. Next up is my E6000 glue, which I love. It's got a super strong hold. It feels like it's hardening, though. I'm wondering if I left it out too long without the cap. But E6000 glue plus um, in here. Here I have a couple binder clips. The tips for this one, because this one has a, an actual tip applicator that you need to use for it. 
plus a little bit of elastic and for some reason a bag of sequins that I just popped in there. So that's what's in there. Next up, hole punch. Gotta have one. Need it for tags and for junk journal, everything. So my mom said you can keep it because I mean it's our family one, but they don't use my family doesn't use it, so it's on my cart now because I use it. And then the next thing I have is Elmer's Craft Bond Clear Dual Tip. I've only used this maybe once or twice, so I'm still getting used to it. I'm still trying to figure out how long it takes to dry. I am very new to this, so I have gifted a few things that I use this with, so hopefully those things are doing well. <laughs> Haven't heard any complaints. And then the last two things, yep, yeah, last two things. I have a happy birthday card on this cart. No, it's not my birthday. That was like three weeks ago. Should probably move that. Okay. Last two things I have is a, oops, there was a micron pen in here. A micron pen, which I'll put in my thing here. Okay. So it's a Real Images sketch diary. It's just a regular sketch pad. You can buy these, I believe, at Walmart. Even I think Dollar Tree sells these or one of the dollar stores I've seen these at. Maybe Dollar General. But it's just a plain sketch pad, and I use these for ABC journaling. If you don't know what that is, it is just picking a letter of the alphabet, finding verses that go along with that word for Bible journaling, and just pick random words. So yeah, I picked J for Jesus, there's pizza washi tape. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what that is. I'm not quite finished with the alphabet. I'm a little behind, so hopefully this is something I can finish next week. It should be. And then the very last thing on my cart is this, which I'm also behind in. Um, I have to catch up on. But it is probably the only devotional I own. I don't tend to like buying devotionals. Um, it's just me. I tend to just go with the Bible and his word. But I saw this on Amazon and God said, get it. So I was like, okay. It is the 100 Days to Dream Your Heart Out. And when I read the synopsis on it, it mentioned things about how God gives us God-given dreams about our future and just our future lives in general, how God can help us just, you know, learn about how God is going to help us. And he knows our future. He knows the plans he has for us. And this book, I don't do it every day, but every time I open it, it is a lesson I needed to learn that exact day. So... I know God pointed me to this, and I need to get back into it, but I love it. That is the last thing on my card, guys. So there was quite a bit. I'm sorry for the little bit of a long video. It's not too long. It's like a, a color along with me day. But yeah, that is on my craft cart. Um, I may show you guys a second craft cart once that's all set and organized. I love you all. I hope you have a blessed day and a blessed weekend, and I will see you all in the next video.